The film begins with a montage showcasing a happy family through the years. Young B, Audrey Hoffman, is seen enjoying life with her parents, John Krasinski and Catherine Diderio, until her mother is diagnosed with cancer. Despite maintaining a cheerful demeanor for B and continuing to play with her, B.A.'s mother eventually succumbs to the illness. Now 12 years old, B, Kaylee Fleming, moves in with her grandmother Margaret, Fiona Shaw, while her father undergoes heart surgery. Her father keeps up a playful attitude and invents imaginary friends to lift B.E.A.'s spirits, though she doesn't show much amusement. During a visit to her father, B befriends a boy named Benjamin, Alan Kim, who frequently injures himself and plays with night and dragon toys. One night, B goes out to buy a charger for her mother's old camcorder and encounters a strange-looking creature. When she calls out, mistaking it for another child, the creature is startled that B can see her. The creature runs into a building, and B follows her upstairs, overhearing a conversation between the creature and a man named Cal, Ryan Reynolds, who lives above Margaret. Though B tries to engage with the creature, Cal insists no one is there. The following night, B spots Cal with the creature as they enter another apartment. She watches as Cal climbs into the bedroom of a little girl, attempting to reach Blue, Steve Carell, a friendly but dim-witted giant, furry, purple imaginary friend, if. Blue had hoped the little girl would be his new companion, but she cannot see him. When Cal tries to retrieve Blue, Blue's loud sneeze wakes the girl, prompting Cal to hide under her bed. Sneaking out, he finds B watching him. As she turns to leave in a panic, she encounters the female creature, an inkblot style, bug-like if named Blossom, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. When Blossom introduces herself, B faints. B wakes up in Cal's apartment with Blue and Blossom. Blossom explains to B that they are imaginary friends, and that they are in the process of coming up with a matchmaking agency to help the other IFs find new kids, or else they will disappear due to being forgotten. While B is a little freaked out, she agrees to help them out. The following day, B goes to visit her father in the hospital, only for Blue to be walking around the place. B tries to get him out of there, as she knows people will look at her funny if they see her talking to someone that isn't visible to anyone else. Later, B joins Cal at a hidden spot in Coney Island, where the IFs live in a retirement home, of sorts. After entering through a secret passage, B encounters a number of IFs. She walks in on a support group for IFs getting over their kids growing up, led by a sunflower if called Flower, Matt Damon. There is also a superhero pup, Guardian Dog, Sam Rockwell, a blubbering blob called Slime, Keegan-Michael Key, an anxious bubble, Aquafina, a smarmy cup of water named Ice, Bradley Cooper, a dry-witted robot, John Stewart, a magician mouse, Sebastian Maniscalco, and a trench coat detective if called Cosmo, Christopher Meloni. Cal bumps into art teacher, Richard Jenkins, who recognizes B and tells Cal to find Lewis, Lewis Gossett, Jr., a wise and elderly teddy bear if that also remembers B by her full name. Elizabeth. Cal ends up falling between realms inside the retirement home, like in one of Art Teacher's paintings before he and B end up in a Tina Turner musical performance with the other IFs. While B is confused by the world around her, Lewis sits down with her and tells her to close her eyes, and all the memories will come flooding back to her. B does so, and sees Coney Island full of both humans and IFs going all around the place. This encourages B to begin helping the IFs. B wants to start by finding an if for Benjamin. They do a round of interviews with Lewis, meeting other IFs like Uni the Cheerful Unicorn, Emily Blunt, an astronaut called Spaceman, George Clooney, a farting gummy bear, Amy Schumer, a cat in a onesie called Octokitty, Blake Lively, a ghost, Matthew Reese, Ally the Alligator, Maya Rudolph, and a melting marshmallow man, also John Krasinski. Ultimately, none of them, including Blue, are able to appear visible to Benjamin. At home, B looks through Margaret's old belongings and finds out she used to be a dancer. To her surprise, she finds Blossom in one of the pictures, meaning she used to be Margaret's if. When B tries to get Blossom to try and reach out to Margaret, Blossom seems worried. B then puts on one of Margaret's old records and wakes her up at night. Margaret ends up dancing once again, and this causes Blossom to not only dance alongside her, but she glows and grows butterfly wings since Margaret now remembers her. Cosmo provides help by bringing B and Califile on Jeremy, Bobby Moynihan, Blue's former child, 
now grown into an anxious adult. The three follow Jeremy to his job, where Blue makes a feeble attempt to get Jeremy to remember him, but he just lets out another powerful sneeze and causes Jeremy to tumble over and spill his coffee on himself. When Jeremy is about to go to a meeting, looking like a nervous mess, Blue puts his hand on Jeremy's shoulder, and it causes Blue to glow like Blossom did since Jeremy now appears to remember Blue. He then goes in for his meeting less afraid. When Bee returns home, she finds Margaret looking worried and telling her that her father had a health scare at the hospital. Bee rushes there, where all the other IFs are there for her. Her father is unconscious after an apparent complication from the surgery. Bee tearfully tells him a story about herself and how she shut out the world after her mother's death, but she says that she still needs him. Bea's dad wakes up and tells her it was a good story. B goes outside to let Margaret know her dad is awake, but when she looks around, all the IFs have disappeared. Back at home, B goes to thank Cal for his help. The landlady steps outside to open the door for B, revealing that nobody lives there and that the room is much smaller than she first saw it. B looks at one of her old drawings that she made with her parents, along with a clown-like if that she named Calvin, revealing that Cal was BEA's if the entire time. B goes back to the room and closes her eyes to let her memories come back, and all of the IFs return before her eyes. She thanks them all for helping her out. BEA's dad leaves the hospital and goes to pick her up so she can move back in with him. As Margaret watches them leave, she expresses hope for the two of them, before turning to Blossom and speaking to her. Blossom then gasps with delight. Before the credits roll, Cole goes around helping the other IFs reunite with their former kids, who are now grown-ups but still able to see them. Cosmo reunites with his old kid at a convenience store where he works, while Uni reunites with the receptionist at Jeremy's job, and Ally rejoins the nurse that tended to BEA's dad. Benjamin also ends up getting a dragon if to join him. When they return to their house, BEA's dad trips over an invisible if named Keith, Brad Pitt, who was his if as a child. After the credits, there is a brief montage of clips featuring Lewis, followed by a dedication to Lewis Gossett, Jr. No. Nope.